This video is going to show you how to do the second half of the Tiger handout. So in the second, hand, second half of the Tiger handout, we are going to be taking scientific notation and changing it back to standard notation. Just as in the top half of the Tiger handout, we were working with very small numbers here, we are also working with very small numbers. So how do we convert scientific notation to standard notation when we're working with very small numbers? All right, I'll write down the first number here. 3.7 times 10 to the second power. I'm, in, I'm going to write down the first factor, 3.7, over here. <clears throat> because when I'm finished, this is going to be a very small number. We know that um, this is negative two place values. So I need to make this number 3.7 smaller by two place values. So this time I'm going to be counting in this direction. One, two. That's two place values, and that's where my new decimal point is going to go. So in the first place value, there's a three there. In the second place, there's nothing, so I'll add a zero. So we can rewrite this number to be 0 0.037. So that's how you take a very small number in scientific notation and turn it into standard notation. 3.7 times 10 to the negative 2 becomes 0 0.037, and we usually put a 0 in front of the point, so 0 0.037. Let's look at the next one and see how to do that one. 9.89 times 10 to the negative 8 power. Wow, negative 8. This is going to be even smaller than this first one was. So we'll take the digits that make the first factor 9.89 and we're going to make this number which is close to 10 right now we're going to make this a lot smaller. We're going to make it smaller by 8 um, place values. So we'll start out here, where our decimal point was originally for scientific notation, and we're going to count back eight place values. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the first place value, it had the nine in it, but we're going to have to add zeros for all the other place values. So I'll go ahead and do that. All right, so I can rewrite this number as 0 0.1234567 zeros and then the 989. So there is our very small number. I'm going to rewrite that on the answer sheet. 0, 0. Let's count how many zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then we'll write the 989. 989. So there is our very small number in standard notation. Let's look at the last one. Starts out in scientific notation with 2.17 times 10 to the negative 3 power. I'll write 2.17 there. This is where we start out with the decimal point, and now we need to count three place values to make this a smaller number. One, two, three. Here is where our new decimal place is going to be. The two is in the first place, and now we need to fill in the others with zeros. So this number becomes 0 0.00217. And now I'll transfer it to the answer sheet. 0 0.00217.
two, one, seven. Okay, so now we've shown you how to do these and these. And just as with the other sheets, when you have the answer here, you look for it down here. So let's see, 0.037, ah, that's right here. And that has an H by it. So we'll put an H down here. And then you can fill in the rest.